Hi guys and welcome to Selection Box Science. This one is all about making an accompaniment for your pudding. And what better than ice cream? But this is homemade ice cream. These are all the ingredients you need. You need some cream, you need some milk, you need some sugar, you need some salt. Check out all the instructions online. The thing you do need, and I really hope you got some of this, is some snow. If you've got snow, awesome. If not, then just grab some ice from the supermarket. So, what do we need to do first? We need to mix up our ice cream mix. So you need half a cup full of cream, that goes in, half a cup full of milk, lovely stuff. Now we're then gonna pour that into a small Ziploc bag. So this is one of, one of these with a zip along the top. So it's gonna pour that in here. This is gonna make our lovely creamy frozen ice cream mix, that goes in. Then you need two tablespoons of sugar. One, two, and then some vanilla extract. Just squirt in a good old glug of vanilla extract. Give that a good shake so it all mixes up. Make sure you close it first. Give that a good shake. And then you want to get all the air out. So the way I do that is you just open it a little bit, squeeze all the air out as much as you can, and then close it. Now that is your ice cream mix sorted. So how are we going to cool that down? How are we going to freeze it? Well, like I say, you've got your bag full of hopefully snow, if not then ice. But it's not just ice, it's ice and 10 tablespoons of salt. Now I've put, uh, I've put nine in here already, so i just put one more tablespoon of salt in. In that goes. Close it up and give it a good mix. So that the salt mixes in with the ice. Then, open it up. Now for the fun bit. Your ice cream mix goes into the bag, like that. Close it up. Now this is gonna get very cold. You're gonna shake it for about five minutes. So I recommend putting on some gloves. Get those nice warm winter gloves on. And then, get shaking. You have gotta shake for about five minutes. So why do we need to add salt to the ice? Why can't we just put ice in there and freeze the mix? Well because all that fat, all that sugar inside the ice cream mix actually means the ice isn't cold enough to freeze it. It's the same reason we put salt on the, uh, the icy roads outside. Salt actually melts ice. And you can't melt something unless it's actually getting heat from somewhere. So in order for our, our salt to melt our ice, it's drawing the heat away from the ice cream mix. So our salty, icy mixture is pulling that heat away so it's cooling down the ice cream mix and it's enough to freeze it. But you've got to shake it for about four or five minutes. It's gonna make it taste better. Right, let's try our ice cream. Okay, take the bag out. Oh, it's a lot firmer. Feels good. Give it a quick rinse. Rinse off the, uh, the saltiness. Open it up. See what we get. Oh yeah. There it is. Look at that. Homemade ice cream. That is gonna be brilliant with some Christmas pudding. Mm. That's really good. 